Spring Plow Day 2022. Up here in southern Idaho. We got an 820. I'll make it, I'll put all of these tractors kind of close ups on them on the video. There's an 820. There's a WD45. Maybe just a WD. There's a John Deere A. Here comes my dad on this John Deere AR. We just finished putting it together last night. So this is the first time it's been worked. We picked it up about a year ago out of a field. Didn't do anything mechanically to it other, other than fixing some stuff. But we just threw a coat of paint on it real quick so it looks nice. And now here we are, kind of its maiden voyage. Here's Donnie on a Massey Ferguson 1805 pulling a 10 bottom plow. He picked both of those plows up for $100. Here comes Ray on his 820. You'd be hard pressed to find a better running 820. He's pulling a four bottom plow, working the tractor really nicely. comes my dad on this AR. That Alice Chalmers plow that he's pulling, he's got it set so it cuts in pretty deep. I guess he's probably in second gear, just chugging along.
right now he's going uphill so he's got a downshift going up but coming downhill he can go in one gear higher he said here comes Tracy he's on his Oliver that's a Super 77 Dennis on a WD, two bottom plow. Here's Evan on a little Ferguson 35, little one bottom that flip flops back and forth. This little Ferguson TO35, it looks like, it looks very similar to a Ford 8-in or a 9-in, but, well more an 8-in, but it does have some nice upgrades. The engine on that, overhead valves, it's had about 35 horsepower and I think I heard Evan saying that his grandfather bought this brand new here it is today still that working That's the trickiest part of plowing. When you connect the up pass and the down pass, you're left with that little strip left. But just go slow and adjust your plow. Seems to do okay.